Gun. Great. Is this the unknown podcast? That's Far from reality. Gunslinger. Can we do something that ties into the fact that we're in Seoul, we're in Korea, we're in Asia? Can we do like... But no puns on Seoul. Like Soul Brothers. Heart and Soul. Oh, I want oh. that. I want it. I want it cheesy like that. What do you think, Bobby? Bobby, just name, name it. Dude, yeah. We'll get it over with. We're, we, I like the huddle, over. but it, like, if it's taken, like, maybe just call it something huddle. Huddle in Korean can, huddle. What can we change it up? Boil, boil, boil. What do you say? Huddle. 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 Trimble, trimble. No, huddle. you know what huddle's called in Korea? What is it? Chip hop. Ah, chip hop. Chip hop. Chip hop hooray. Oh, <laughs> that's not bad. Not the hooray, though. You don't like Naughty by Nature? Not because I hate you. Hooray. You didn't like hooray. <laughs> okay. I like, I like the huddle. I've always liked the huddle. Hustle the just, call, just call it huddle. Welcome to the huddle. Welcome to the huddle. <laughs> Did you see Eric's dunk in the weekend? Bring it back. Oh, Dude, Bring it back. Girl, I'm just wondering. Yeah. I'm just wondering how here. long. So Eric's 42. How long are we going to be able to get these in your face slams? Should athletes get involved in politics? Mm, if you have a view and you feel strongly about something, then say it. It's your right. Why not? While you guys were playing, did you ever? Um, Oh fuck no, we kept our head down mid. <laughs> we're, we're from the 90s, bro. Alright, Hasling Jin, I don't know if you know how. Yeah, 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 yeah. He came and once we retired, he wrote the, he did the whole YouTube thing and it blew the fuck up and went viral and he was telling, this is why Korean basketball is. is I love that video. You saw the video. I, I absolutely, Dave, did you see that video? No. Uh-uh. Top to bottom saying what was wrong with Korean basketball. And and so he, he like won't even go to games. But okay. times are changing. When we were playing, if we would have said something like this, we might not have gotten a contract renewal. Two million views later, it's like you can't ignore that yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It, it's fun for people to discuss it. Cultural shit. Yeah. Cultural it's stuff. It's not just right? basketball, yeah. It's stuff that everyone knows, but There's they that, can't say. That hierarchical stuff, right? Mm-hmm. That, like, I'm like, huh? Conde. You gotta fucking, yes. Dave, do you know what a conde is? Yeah, that's like, uh. <laughs> that's not a kundu, me. <laughs> <laughs> Superman is super right. Right? I so can now, see that. So right. he's talking, and he's being really? verbal about the fact that I don't work in Hollywood anymore because I'm because right. Peer pressure is a motherfucker, I'll tell you that. Like John Wayne. And, and Bill Bird is a, does a whole bit about this whole thing. John Wayne was born in like, what, 1905? Like, he did one article in, 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 in Playboy magazine in like the 70s about like, you know, the civil rights movement. And he oh, said something. Right. And now they're trying to tear down everything he did, but it's like, are you surprised that a guy that it's like a dinosaur def, like defrosting a caveman. It's hard to like look back and like judge these people from a different era based on our ideals. Like if you looked at George Washington for his time, he was probably like acting how he acted and like no yeah. one would have been like, I can't believe George Washington's doing this. But then in 2020, you're gonna look back and be like, obviously like, cause we live in a different world. Yeah, I, right? I, I don't like cancel culture. Yeah. Like what culture? Like cancel, cancel culture. Cancel like how culture. they canceled Dean Cain. Or... Yeah, they, they look up your Twitter feed from way back and then... And then social media, this whole experience with algorithms and what you can see, how you can move people 1% off their beliefs. And the data says that if they can get to you enough and get in front of your face, you will change your beliefs. You know, there's, like, a, there's yeah. a quote I read recently that I freaking love. Nobody or no one is as dumb as everyone. Right? It's about her mm, mentality. Mm. Okay, what kind of war stories? Are we talking about pickups at bars, one-nighters? No, 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 no. Sports related. Because my wife's going to love stories. that. Me and Eric are playing one-on-one during one of the practice games. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Eric, we're just fouling each other. It, it's going back to like childhood flash, flashbacks, PTSD in the driveway. <laughs> and we start going at it. And then Eric rips my fucking jersey, hanging down like Captain <laughs> Caveman, fucking pissed. But the coach is there, we're at a Christian school, we're swearing at each other, which I grab his fucking shoes and throw them in the shower. Eric goes, okay, cool. And I fucking swing, cold cock Eric, cold cock him. Punch oh, him right in the, the face. Yeah, punch him. And it's like, when was the last time you got hit in the face? Mm-hmm. I slip, hit my head on the thing, and I'm wriggling on the floor. Eric's just got his foot, because he's dry. Yeah. And he's got his foot on my chest. And he's like, are you gonna calm down? Are you gonna calm down? Jerry, if you're watching. Um, that sometimes it can get on your skin. I can get on his skin too. We were so close. It's because you guys have so much history. We have yeah. so much history. Yeah. You know, we used to live together. We were walking around the streets of New York. I want to hear those New York war stories, by the way. They were pretty debaucherous. And so I turn my back, and he throws a ball at the back of my head. Oh, that fucking... And that just set me off. Cheap shot. Mm. They, were, they were swinging on each other. That escalated. The funny thing is about that run, nobody knew we were that close. Oh, so they thought you guys... 
Yeah, that's I true. I didn't at that point. I didn't know you guys. Were you guys, you know, we were the, probably the two closest guys in that run, yeah. but nobody knew. So you guys are like brothers. Yeah, exactly. And that's why. That's why it happens, and it can happen so fast. A lot of times with people that are that close, like brothers and stuff, it's like something. It might not even be that thing. It might be something that's kind of been building. Fourth quarter or something. It was a tight game, and boom, there was a foul, and then they got in. You know, our player and their player got into each other's face. They started pushing each other, and all of a sudden, we just all just piled down. Mm-hmm. Everyone, I got a, I, I punched one person and I kicked one person and I turned around. It brought our team together. Mm. We went there and I was playing for the team in Singapore. We were mm. playing in the Australian League at the times. We played this Indonesian team that was supposed to be really good. We matched up and like this guy came down the lane, right? And he jumped up to score a layup, but then he went into the jump kick motion. Mm. And I was confused because I'd never seen that before in a basketball game. Put his foot, his size seven, right into my chest. <laughs> Kicked me off to get the space and the score to land. And he did it so easily, it looked like that was his thing. I got something though. So what is the craziest thing a coach has said to you and relate that to <laughs> what that coach really meant at that time? Dave, you go first. Oh, man. I was in 10th grade mm-hmm. and the head coach, okay. Coach Melky, this is after practice. He said, like, McGinnis, I got to talk to you. So I go downstairs into the locker. So it's a one-on-one. It's a one-on-one. That's All the-, the kids are gone. <laughs> and he comes in there and he starts poking at me and he says, he do you, think, you think you'll ever be as good as me? At basketball? What? Yeah. He goes, do you think, but like this. Yeah, he was competitive with you. Yeah. He was like, do you think you would be ever as good as me? And I'm like, I'm, like, I'm, never I'm like fucking 15. I'm like, <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, like, I didn't have that edge to be like, yeah, I'm better than you because that wasn't me. <laughs> why the fuck was he telling me thing. that? So what was the point of him saying exactly. that? Exactly. So you tell me why that coach, after the year before, he was praising me. Take his, his side. You all know my side. Take his side. I think something you didn't even realize you did. Like you, he, he said, hey guys, you need to run a press. And then you did it or something. He has yeah. his own scars from his past. He thought it was different. People didn't listen to him. But if you didn't talk back to him, he probably thought you maybe had like a look in your eye. Like... Hmm. I feel like he probably saw something either reminded of himself, mm. oh. and then he probably wanted to like, like look at you and like recognize something at that age that like he made some misstep that he didn't achieve his full potential. Wow, I feel healed right now. This has really, really bothered me all my life. Uh, Aaron, right tell now. your story. Tell your story. Yeah. This is some fucked up, and this is happening in Korea. But the one where he's having practice, though. Yes. Get in practice, and yeah, I can't speak Korean. So I don't know what the fuck is going. Like I make a defensive mistake, and the coach is screaming at me. I don't understand what the hell he's saying. And he comes up and just fucking smacks me in the face. What? And Disclaimer: I, This is normal behavior. Yeah. In and by the way, wait, were you yeah. Eric Sandrin at that time, or were you? I, had, that so I had just given up my. Just became, I just became a Korean <laughs> citizen, right? So you weren't a. You weren't a. a I was no player. longer. I was no yeah. longer a U.S. citizen. Like thinking, I'm like, dude, should I fucking rip this guy's head off? Like, I'm, I'm gonna go to jail because the, the, like the, the story isn't gonna be like this guy hit me. It's gonna be that I destroyed an yeah, old man. The two imports in practice were like, e, chill out, chill out. E. Mm-hmm. So he was trying to motivate you, maybe yeah, in I'm his sure, mind. I'm sure he was like, man, I don't know how to get this guy to play defense. Maybe this will work. <laughs> it did. On, on that did. note, let's motivate each other by slapping each other. <laughs> okay. Right. Dave. Okay. Dang. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Smash uh, that like button. Is it the like button? That's so cheesy. Ooh, I hate yeah, that. Spotify. Oh, like button you can comment below uh, lick the like button lick it seriously smash it <laughs> yeah smashing is fun yeah okay. just touch it give yeah. a pound give it a pound give just it. the tip yeah. romantic just, 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 just the tip just the tip drill okay okay just the tip okay, okay guys. Oh, we went down, okay, okay, downstairs real quick just the tip. oh second wind hmm. with dave eric Man. dan and john featuring the talented bobby bobby, bobby. bobby oh, can yes. you bring your guitar next time yes yeah yeah please yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pale slate? Cool. Slate it.